The reason why I was approached for the Eurovision Song Contest is because I had recorded an album down in Nashville uh, last year and it was about to be released in this country. And you know, like when you release a, when an artist releases a new song, they send it to radio stations to see what the reaction is. And the reaction um, before its release was like great songs, you know. And one of the guys down on the BBC had heard "Believe in Me" and said, "Wow, this could be the song for the Eurovision." And we'd love Bonnie to do it. Can we ask Bonnie to do it? So, which we did. Uh, which they did, and um, at first it was like, wow, Eurovision, uh, you know, because they'd asked me 30 years ago, and I couldn't do it then because I was so busy, because Total Eclipse was number one and the album was number one. And, and I just thought about it for a minute and thought, this is a great opportunity, you know, to represent the UK. And so many people watch the Eurovision, don't they? 120 million people. So, you know, and I have a lot of friends in Europe, so um, maybe that's why the BBC asked me, because they know that uh, there's a good chance, you know. But we have got a good song, you know. But you never know, you never know <laughs> with what can happen in the Eurovision. But it'll be a, a great experience, I'm sure about that. Well... It has been said to me over the last couple of weeks that I've been doing promotion and things, you're not going to win this, Bonnie, your song's too good, <laughs> which, is, which is crazier. But, um, you know, um, you know, the, the, you know the, there's the Eurovision, is, you, you can't guarantee that it's all about the song, but I'm going to give it my very best shot. And... It, you know, I, I, I think we've got a good chance of having a good score, at least, I hope. I hope very much. Please vote for Bonnie Tyler. Uh, you know, and if you're British and you can't vote for me, ask your Facebook friends from foreign countries to support our country. Because they can't vote for their own, you see. Germany can't vote for Germany, so hopefully they're going to vote for me. Yep. Because I'm always over there. It's like my second home. I have had a look at, um, you know, like there's a few minutes of each one on the web and I've listened to a few of them and um, I like uh, Russia, I think that's a good one, um, Germany, uh, Holland has got a good song, good singer, um, Denmark, um, there's, there's a lot of competition, you know, so you know, I'm not going to beat myself up if I if I don't win, you know, but um, or but I, I hope to God I get a good score, you know, my saving grace. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be good fun, and I'm, everybody tells me that it's a it's a wonderful um, fun week. It's bloody hard work as well. Excuse the language. It's very hard work as well with all the interviews. But oh, you know. Uh, it's got to be done, isn't it? It's part and parcel of the the uh, thing. The only thing that that I'm worried about is um, that I'll be talked out and, and I won't have a voice at the end of it. <laughs> no, I'm not going dramatic. I'm going Bonnie Tyler. I'm going... I'm not having dancers on the stage. I may, I've got musicians and backing vocalists on the stage. And um, uh, my outfit will be much like I wear normally, I think, like... Probably something maybe off the shoulder, but, you know, like a basque or something with sleeves and, you know, not down here and and maybe some sort of flowing bottom over skinny trousers or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm having a... I'm seeing the stylist. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's it's going on a bit now, you know, and, and I still don't know what I'm wearing, and that's a bit nerve-wracking. Oh, I tell you, I only hope my, I only wish that my mother and father were still alive to see it, you know, because they loved the Eurovision and, um, and they'd be so proud.